Tom, what is this music gathering about? Well, um, this particular music gathering started from um, my involvement at St. Martha's. I was uh, doing some work on the inpatient mental health unit, and things were going really well there. And um, so they um, had reached out to me and asked me if I would do a community um, mental health group at the library once a week. And so we, uh, we've been doing this for Oh. Quite some time now, and it's been going over really well. Oh, um, do you find that the interest in music therapy um, evolved for you, like to help people? How did that evolve for me? Um, well, I just had some experiences in my life with uh, being able to really observe the benefits of music on people. Um, it started off with uh, my observation of, of my grandmother when my grandmother developed dementia and she was very anxious and she was very confused. I would go in and I'd play music for her and I could see a lot of anxiety being uh, released and her confusion released. Uh, I found her to be more calm and happier and I found her to be familiar with what was happening. So it was a moment that I felt Music was, was providing her with a moment of, of calmness, but also familiar, familiarity wow. and, and kind of normality. So um, that's how it started for me. And then uh, yeah, it just kind of went from there. That's great. What sort of people do you work with and what sort of the problems are they dealing with? Um, I've worked with uh, almost everybody, every, you know, any kind of person. Um, I've dealt with children with uh, muscular dystrophy or autism, uh, children who uh, might be considered at risk, um, but also um, adults with uh, acquired brain injury and adults with you know, depression and, and Alzheimer's. And so really I've worked with an array of, of, of conditions. Oh, yeah. Yes. Do you find music therapy helps people with mental health problems? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a very good therapy because it really allows people to um, get outside of their heads and more into an art medium. Just the process of singing and the process of, of expressing and talking and creating, um, all those things really seem to help people calm down and help people maybe work out what's going on with themselves and it helps them make connections with other people and also it just helps them sometimes communicate clearer to people with what's going on with them. Free, free Sounds great. Is there much support in the medical and psychiatric uh, professions for music therapy? I wouldn't say that there's, there's um, a large uh, large amount of support but I do feel that it's growing and it's becoming more popular um, and more accepted um, for instance our health authority right now is starting to see the benefits of that never yeah. thought I'd be singing at a, a, in, in this time of the day yeah. I always thought it would be night time mm -hmm. <laughs> good time to be singing what other types of the arts therapy is there. I think you know there's things like drama therapy and art therapy and storytelling and um, horticultural therapy. So um, many. These other types of therapies that are very expressive and um, they have a lot of great uh, great components to them that um, teach people a lot about themselves and a lot about the people they work with and about you know other aspects of our lives. So it's a pretty healing healthy yeah continuing from the hospital. Yeah. yeah. Tom, when you go one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. with a therapy, one-on-one -on -one therapy, um, what sort of things do you do and would you 
run me through one? It's real me one? Yeah, totally. Um, Great. Well, you know, you're always, like, when you're working with someone, you you uh, ideally want to figure out, um, you know, what, what are these person's goals? And uh, what do we want to help them strive to do? So you want to use, um, you want to find out uh, how to use their strengths to help their weaknesses, you know? Right. right. So, you know, you have to, you, it's all about developing a relationship with someone. And uh, so that's why music therapy is a great process. It's, you know, it can be a long process, but it's a process of learning and, and building a relationship and, and figuring out what skills we can use to help other skills. So one thing that we could do as a, um, an activity is... Um, we can play a song where we could just trade maybe doing some blues, maybe trade like doing some guitar soloing. You know what I mean? Oh, I like see. I could play Shoot. some guitar line and you could solo over it and then you could play the chords and then I could do some soloing and go back and forth. Yeah. We can have this communication between our instruments. Yeah, between our instruments. Yeah. Would you be comfortable doing something yeah, like that? Yes, I would enjoy. Yeah. To- to run me through. Cool. Yes. So we'll grab our guitars and hey. have this conversation you know with music and uh, so it's allowing you to express and like you know just kind of like forget about what's happening in the world we're just playing music right it's just we're we're expressing through music and you can let a lot out I see uh, personally myself from with your classes that I've been with the group today I've been in learning to enjoy music through your pleasurable pleasurable Good. Pers- awesome, way you present your music and I've really, really come a long way. Sweet. Well, it's been yeah. sounding yeah. great. It's been great yeah. playing music with you. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Well, thank you. Great. Hey.